All right, it's uh, nine o'clock in the evening on Friday or Saturday, and uh, I decided to come down and work for an hour or two on the uh, dog. I just uh, couldn't wait till Monday. And uh, so I took a shower, I ate my dinner, I got put, put my robe on, and I just didn't feel like getting all dressed again just to come down here and work in the studio. So I'm going to do this in my plaid stylish bathrobe. <laughs> all right, I'm going to get busy on the uh, dog. I'm going to do the body first uh, and do the head kind of like maybe last. I need to get the body better than it is right now. Time to play with some clay. As you can see, I've set up uh, two boards to mount my reference materials on. I've got one with the uh, ends of the dog and the top of the dog and one on the just the side of the dog. I'm going to make this a male dog, which is going to mean I'm going to have to try to make the male organs and hopefully not screw that up. Anyway, that's for in a little while. It's not for now. So I'm going to get started by I may move this head back a little bit because I think I got too far forward the neck and everything on the shoulders so that means I'm gonna have to get my lamp out with a flame it's so nice to have a nice cool evening breeze coming through the window and I can hear kids off in the distance screaming and having a great old time outside like I used to do when I was a kid. Man, I wish I was a kid again. I just, of course, I wouldn't want to go through what I've gone through in my life all over again. I need a higher jar. Let that heat up for a few minutes. Looking at the uh, photograph of the uh, dog itself, the neck length is about right. It's just this needs to be trimmed off here, and then I'll fill in if I need to fill in. I could see that I needed to cut off on the uh, front of this dog earlier tonight, and... Uh, in fact, I'm going to do that right now. I got carried away. That looks a lot better. I'll have to rework the shoulders a little bit, but that's no big deal. In fact, I'm going to put just a little curiosity twist or, or angle to his neck head. Yeah, like that. Ah, the only trouble now is to line up this head with the warrior, his gaze, I'm going to have to put this back on the uh, clay or on the uh, figure. So I'll just go ahead and do that off camera. So now I got the uh, dog's body just a little bit better proportioned and equal in uh, its uh, on both sides. I 
don't think his ribs would be showing because he would be fed, you know, scraps and such. But uh, they pretty much had to fend for themselves. I went and spent a couple of days on the uh, Blackfoot Reservation up north of uh, where I live here in Montana, up on the uh, Browning Reservation. It's a uh, Blackfoot Reservation. And uh, they told me not to go walking by myself out at night because the dogs roam the village up there, uh, the town. And they're feral, which means they will attack you in, in packs uh, at night. So I didn't go wandering. That looks good. All right, I'm going to come back after I get a little further along. But you see what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. I got a little too much of a lump in the back of this back. So I'm going to take it down just a little. Yeah, that's a better line. I just saw something else that needs to be done, adjusted. I wonder if I need to do that or just Try this first. The width of his head is not quite there. I need to go wider here where the cheekbone is. And uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Mm. And the distance between his eyes is too small. Well, maybe I do have to do this. Another scary moment. We'll see how this turns out. I got to add maybe a third more width to his eye between his eyes than I've got right now. This is where an exacto knife will be better than a big knife.
Got to do it equal side, you know, on both sides of the nose, the center of the nose, which comes down here, like uh, this. That does look better. Hope I didn't screw it up too much. You do have to be willing to tear it apart if it ain't working right. But there's no need to uh, re sculpt it all. They just adjust it all I didn't hurt it at all I think what I should do is stop <laughs> before I destroy this piece tonight Now, actually, what I'm doing is needs to be done. So I added about an eighth of an inch between his eyes. balances out just nicely now. now I gotta increase the uh, width of his jaw a little. I got a lot of work to do on the face a little bit more, but I think that helped a lot to do what I just did. doing this kind of thing you're constantly reevaluating what you've done before and making the adjustments that you need to make all right everybody happy sculpting and I'll see you next week give me a thumbs up and share my video and then check out my instructional dvds uh the link down below this video all right see you next time